Hello and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is a 10 minute low impact workout, no equipment needed, just using our body weight. I've got 10 exercises planned for us, 40 seconds on each move, followed by a 20 second rest. So go at your own pace. If any of the moves don't feel suitable, you can always switch it for something else or just skip it out completely and then rejoin for the next exercise. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna be a walk out into a kind of plank position. So we're gonna start standing, hands on the ground. I'm just gonna demonstrate quickly. You're gonna walk out into a high plank. Then you get to that position there, you're gonna go knee, knee, and back. Okay, then tuck the toes, repeat again. So walking those hands out into that high plank, drive the knee into the elbow if you can. Walk back, tuck the toes and repeat. So you're gonna feel that in your upper body, your wrists, your shoulders and chest are gonna work, but also you are working your core by driving that knee up, you're gonna feel your abs work. So that's our first exercise. 40 seconds on that, then we stop for 20 seconds and go on to the next move. So when you're ready, hands on the ground. So walking those hands out to that high plank. When you get to that position there, you go knee to elbow, knee to elbow, walk back, touch the feet, and again, walk out again. So again, high plank, every time you get to that plank, you're thinking about keeping your back nice and straight, you're working your core, so we're not sort of um, dipping our back like this. Squeeze those abs, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, walk the hands back. Touch the feet. If you need to go a bit wider on the legs because they're a bit tight, hands might be tight, walk the legs a bit wider. Same thing, knee, knee, walk back. Touch the toes, you are gonna feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Walk them out again, last one. And then just walk back and stand up into a upright position. Right, that's our first exercise. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna stay in that same sort of position. This time we're gonna open up our hips, so really good one to open up your pelvis and your hips. We're gonna hold the plank like this to start with. Then we're gonna go tap, tap, then step your foot out, step your foot out. That's our first move. So we go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, step the foot to the left, back, out to the right. So you're gonna really feel a big stretch in your hip flexor and your groins. Tap the shoulder twice, step the foot to the left, back, right, back. So again, really good way of just increasing the mobility and the range of motion at your hips. If you're not quite there yet, you might be tighter, you might not be nowhere near there. If, you want, if you're there, or there, or here, all good. Just, you're gonna be opening up as you go. So tap, tap, tap shoulders, step, back, step, and relax. So yeah, it's a really good way of, again, just creating that, creating that space. But if you're tight, it might be hard to get your hand, your foot by your hand, but don't worry, you can just build up to that. Next one, on our feet, we're gonna do some squats. So feet flat on the ground. We're gonna sit down nice and slow, as low as you can go. Driving those feet into the floor. Back nice and straight. Off we go, so sit down slow. Control it. If you find that your feet are coming off, or the balls of the feet are coming off the ground, turn your feet out a bit wider. Imagine you're sitting down to an imaginary chair and we're trying to keep the heels planted into the floor. So we're driving through the heels. Keep those knees driven out. That's it, and we're trying to control it as we go down. Control the movement, and as you come up, so squeeze those quads at the top. Slow reps, brilliant. You've got another 10 seconds on this one. It's a short workout, 10 minutes is gonna go very quick. And the aim here is just to keep it all nice and gentle, low impact on the joints, whilst building some strength up and relax. Right, next one I'm gonna go for, we're gonna be doing some knee smashes. We're gonna lift the knee up, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then if you can, one, two, three, four star jumps. If you can't do this jumping star jumps, just step one, two, so you can do a little easy version. So we go one, two, three, four, and then it's one, two, three, four. Because we're trying to build our heart rate up now. One, two, three, four, and you can step it if you want. One, two, three, that's a little bit more, obviously low impact. Right, knees up high, drive it up, and step one, Two, three, four. Good, 15 seconds left. One, three, four. Bring it, bring that knee up nice and high. And again, one, two, three, four. Last one, one, two, three, four, and relax. All right, recover, catch your breath. Next I wanna go and do now is a down on our knees. We're gonna do some push-ups. So obviously full push-ups are quite tough. We can do this on the knees as well. So hands are stacked underneath the shoulders. We're gonna bend that elbow as low as we can go and push to the top. So if you can't go right way down, just do a, a shallower rep, yeah? 
Off we go, so lower slowly. Bend, straight those arms at the top. So bend the elbows, big drive up. That's it. That's good, really good. So slow again, we're trying to think about controlling this movement. I'm not just collapsing the floor, bounce off the floor. It's a slow, controlled move on the way down. And as you push up, elbows tucked in as you can. It's a bit harder when you tuck the elbows in. Excellent, right, last couple of push-ups. I know they're quite tough if you haven't done them for a while, but you'll get stronger. Three, two, one, and rest. Stack out, we got on our feet. Next I'm gonna go for, is this, that's five moves complete, so only five minutes to go. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. So right leg is gonna step back, and then we're gonna try and bring our knee up. So it's sort of a reverse lunge, and then knee drive. If you can't do the knee drive, just bring your foot to the, back to the center, so just bring it back to there, yeah? So right leg goes back, knee comes up. Slow it down there. So we're trying to really balance on that standing leg. Bring the knee up nice and high. Step back. Drive up. We'll do 40 seconds on this right side. Then we'll switch to the other side. So what you do is bend that back knee, drop it down low. And by bringing that leg up, your right leg has to really tense to stabilise that. So again, look, it's a slow move. Really drive the knee up. Straight back if you can. Step back, drive, hold that knee a second, and repeat. And relax. Yeah, you can feel that outside of your thigh and your glute. Exactly the same thing now, this time right foot forwards, left leg goes back. And obviously, if you have tight hip flexors, you're going to find it hard to drop that back knee right down. So you just go as low as you can. It might just be to that much lower angle, just slightly bend the front knee, bring it up. Here we go. So, lunge back. Drive up. So reverse lunge, drive up. You don't have to drop that back knee right down if you can't, but that's the aim to one day get the flexibility in there and the strength in here to drop right down and drive the knee up. Brilliant, again, look, this is low impact, gentle on the joints. We're just trying to stabilize everything, keep it all nice and secure, keeping that front foot flat on the ground so we're not trying to wobble, keep this straight. Drive up, oh, one more there, one more rep. And rest, right, you feel that in the legs, don't you? It's a great little single leg exercise. We're now gonna go on to a, a kind of, like a pulsing squat almost. We're gonna pulse three times like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, then hands on the ground, step back into a plank, step forward and repeat. So it's three little pulsing squats. It's gonna be a quad burner, this one. So let's go, so we go pulse one, two, Three, hands on the ground, step back into a plank, walk forwards, repeat. One, two, three, hands on the ground, step back, step forwards, flat feet again. Three, one, two, three. Ah, cool, it's burning the quads now. One, staying low, look. two, three, you're staying really low in that move, not really coming up into a full standing position at all. One, two, three. Ah, okay, last one, last few pulses. Three, two, one, oh. Right in there, right. We've got two more exercises. We're now gonna go for a, a plank. So we're gonna go down into a elbow plank. Oh, that's really done my quads that. Good little strength training. So if you're gonna do it from the knees, that's fine. Brace the core, if you can, lift up, hold, 40 second plank, starting now. So I'm not locking my legs out of this and squeezing my quads. Keep your knees just slightly off the ground, just soft the quads. Put the effort, the emphasis on your abs. So trying to bring your, your belly button sort of up towards the spine. So we're not dipping down low, not lifting up high. It's that sort of middle position where your back's almost like a coffee table. Soft knees, abs tight, and draw that up. Like, as you exhale, draw your belly button up towards your spine. Hold it for five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Right, up on our feet. This is the final move now. Two options. If you've got the energy, you can actually go a little bit quicker. You can jog on the spot, but if not, it's just a march. So lift the knees up, marching on the spot, or if you want to go a little bit quicker, obviously, you can go for a jog. So whatever works for you, marching or jogging, let's go. 
40 seconds of work. And that's the end of our workout, short and sweet. Sometimes all we need is to shake a little bit of that stress off, get a bit of energy in the mind and body, and maybe it's gonna be the motivation and the, the catalyst for you to come back tomorrow and do another one. Another 10 minutes or 15 minute workout. There's loads on the YouTube channel to keep coming back and build up your fitness, right? Build up that strength. 15 seconds. Right, I'm gonna finish with a little jog. It's a little bit quicker to finish. If you can, 10 seconds to go. Let's go, lift those knees. Last few seconds, speed up. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Complete. 10 moves, body weight only. Got a good little sweat on there. We've woken up the muscles, got our joints opened. Fantastic, well done. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, hit subscribe to The Body Coach TV. There's loads of workouts from beginner, you know, chair-based workouts to even more advanced, you know, really intense sort of dumbbell kettlebell stuff. Thanks again for tuning in. If you want to find out more about my Body Coach app, check out the App Store or the iOS or Google Play Store for the Body Coach app, where you can get your tailored meal plans and tailored workouts to really go on an incredible transformation. See you soon. Have a great day and thanks again for tuning in.